Powerful Galactic Beings, welcome back to another video. Do you think your spirits are ignoring you? Are you unable to contact your spirit guides? Do you feel lonely, have difficult times in your life, and need guidance? Well, you aren't the only person to feel like spirits are ignoring you. But the fact is that, you are ignoring your spirit guides. Actually, you don't recognize the signs that show your spirit guide is trying to communicate with you. So, you ignore many of the signs shown by your spirits. Your spirit guides are always there to help and support you. Most of the time their messages come to us unexpectedly. Here we will discuss 11 signs that you are ignoring your spirit's guides. So, it will help you to know when your spirits want to connect with you or they want to tell you something. Number 1. Vivid Dreams and Visions Spirit guides often create vivid scenarios to catch our attention and convey their messages through dreams and visions during meditation. During dreaming or meditating you align yourself to other metaphysical realms as your mind is calm, and you become more open to receiving divine signals. This makes it easier for your spirit guides to connect with you. If you do not meditate regularly at the proper time, there is a chance that you may not focus on the signs shown by your spirits. Sometimes you see vivid dreams and visions but you do not concentrate on them. This is a sign that you are ignoring your spirit guides. Number 2. Sharper More Enhanced Senses Spirit guides mostly communicate through subtle, indirect means. They often sharpen and enhance your senses. So that you become more observant and notice their signals. You may have a spontaneous thought or you may experience an unexpected action that makes no sense but it is exactly what you need at the time. You may notice their messages on the edge of your vision. When you are open to yourself mentally and spiritually and remain calm, you do not miss them or ignore these signs as a coincidence. Instead, you can observe these divine signs through synchronicity and serendipity. Number 3. Random Electrical Interference Spirits use electricity to make contact with us. Spiritual energy fields can interfere with the magnetic fields created in the space around electrically charged particles. Spiritual energy can interfere with, interrupt and even affect electronic devices. If you are experiencing abnormal levels of electronic disturbance and your electronic devices are acting up randomly, then your spirit guys are trying to connect with you. So, the next time your T.V or radio, or music system starts malfunctioning, then focus on and pay attention to what is being shown, discussed, or played at moment. Number 4. Higher Levels of Intuition Have you ever felt that you know certain things but are unable to explain how you know about them? Or maybe you know something that you don't remember learning? Spirit guides often deliver information and answers to you through your intuition and help you learn what you need to. You hear telepathic voices in your head different from your own thoughts. Or you may have a strong gut feeling about something important. So make sure to listen to your gut as it may lead to the exact answers you are seeking. You might shut out your mind and heart and prevent yourself from receiving divine knowledge when spirit guides want to tell you. This is a sign that you are ignoring your spirit guides. So, whenever you feel like a divine force is pulling you toward a certain direction in life, Sometimes you may not fully perceive and understand it. You may feel your gut feeling is telling you to surrender to this higher power and follow the path. There is a chance that your spirit guide wants to reveal something that is hidden from you. So, keep your mind and heart open for receiving divine information. Number 5. Spiritual Chills Have you ever experienced recurrent sudden chills in your body? Or have you ever had random goosebumps? If yes, then this experience is spiritual chills. Spiritual chills feeling is unlike a normal shiver and it feels like energy flowing through your body. Spiritual signs are direct signals that your spiritual guides are trying to reach out to you. Spiritual chills especially happen when you are meditating, lost in thought on the verge of sleep, or trying to communicate with your spirit guides. If you ignore it, then you are ignoring your spirit guides. So next time when you feel a chill, Try to tune in, pay heed and take notice of the situation. The spirits are trying to communicate with you or want to tell you something. The simple way to understand the message is to think about the exact condition or state of affairs at the moment of the chill. Focus on what you were thinking about at the moment when you felt the chill. Number 6. 
Sudden Special Scents Have you ever suddenly smelled a specific scent that reminds you of a dead or lost loved one? If so, then it is possible that they are present near you and offering you their love and guidance. Spirits often use aromas to guide and reassure us. They often try to grab our attention with pleasant and familiar scents. These scents can be related to childhood memories or any special event in past or may remind us of a deceased loved one. If you neglect such aromas, it's a sign that you are ignoring your spirit guides. So next time when you notice any familiar fragrance, concentrate on it. Try to find your inner peace and trust in a higher power for guidance. It's possible that your spirit guides are trying to help you in making certain decisions. Number 7. Phantom Touches. Have you ever experienced strange physical contact? If you experience light, phantom touches, or caress, possibly it can be your spirit guides letting you know that they are here to protect and guide you. Touches are physical and emotional sensations. So your spirit guides may touch you lightly when you are emotional or seeking help and reassurance. Phantom touches are nurturing and divine way to let you know that there is always someone watching over you from a mystical realm. In moments of any danger, you may experience a jerk or push or a distressing pain in a specific part of your body. In times of joy and happiness, you may feel a warm, gentle hug or chill up your spine. Number 8. Music. Music heals the soul and contrives bygone and suppressed emotions and desires. Music is a universal language. So your spirit guides often contact you through songs and lyrics. The highest frequency and vibration of music and songs allow spirits and angels to connect with the human soul. When you suddenly hear your old favorite song or can connect with lyrics you've never heard before, it's a sign your spirit guide is going to tell you something. If this happens to you don't ignore its focus on the lyrics and try to relate them to your situation. It may help you sort out your problem or learn something important. Number 9. White Feathers. Do you notice white feathers in unusual places? This is a beautiful sign from your spirit guides letting you know of their presence and protection known as calling cards from your guides. White feathers are lovely gifts to remind us that we are going to receive a blessing. If you see white feathers near you, don't take them as ordinary and for granted. If you do so, you are ignoring your spirits. Number 10. Powerful words and numbers. Words can be powerful, deeply emotional, and motivational. Words compel you to stop, listen to their message and remember. If a passage in the book or message on a billboard touches you deeply or a certain quote seems to give you the answer you are looking for, it means your spirit guides are answering your prayers. You often see a certain word, number, or phrase appear to you repeatedly that seems to give you the answer or message you need at that moment. Spirit guides use written materials as a source of communication when you ask for guidance. If you see the same sentence or series of numbers, again and again, don't ignore it. This is a sign that your spirit guides are near you telling and guiding you about your issues. Number 11. Orbs. Orbs are believed to be a manifestation of our spirit guides. These are the signs they are nearby offering their guidance and blessings. Orbs can be different colors and tend to have detailed shapes within them. Most of the time orbs cannot be seen through the naked eye and only appear in photographs of loved ones. They are spiritual tokens which means that your spirit guides are protecting you and want you should trust them. I hope this video was really helpful to you, see you in the next video. Peace, love and life.